Welcome to Enoshima Cooking. <laughs> so today I'm going to make miso soup, and then this is ingredient. And then this time I'm going to uh, use this miso, which is include dashi. And then when you make miso soup, dashi is important, but it's just a mental to show how to make it. <laughs> Difficult. Difficult. <laughs> yeah, difficult to uh, make dashi. So yeah, I think include dashi was easier. Okay, so ingredients. Uh, maybe you have. Oh, maybe you have made minestrone or any other soup. And then miso is almost the same thing. You can put any ingredient and then just put the miso on uh, in that soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then today uh, we have a long onion and then carrot and then was it ingen <laughs> ingen and then wakame and then onion and then this is tofu and this is Japanese mushroom uh, shiitake and then okura miso has a lot of nutrients and it has many good benefits. There is protein, vitamin E, isoflavon, dietary fiber, and more. It's good on Oh, and then this time I'm gonna use uh, dry wakame. Do you call dry wakame? Seaweed. Ah, seaweed. seaweed. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to use this one. And then today I'm going to make two people, the show for two people. And then those already, I already cut those ingredients. So today we're gonna use onion, carrot, and then pot, and then shiitake, mushroom, mm -hmm. and then okra, and then long onion, and then miso, uh, seaweed, wakame, and then tofu. And then Japanese people make like mm, this flower with carrot. It looks cute, right? <laughs> And then water, uh, one portion, uh, 150 milliliter, is like here. If you don't have a measure, like a scale, you can put the water here and then put the pump. To first, put the water. And then put the hard vegetable first before heat it up because it's going to be soft that's all later and then now we have a time so I'm planning to make onigiri with my husband you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rice. Mm -hmm. And then this is uh, furikake. And then we're gonna use ume shiso. Mm -hmm. uh, plum, plum nani. Plum? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Japanese plum. Uh, it tastes sour a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this is denpu. Denpu is. Mm, sugar and then white fish. I forgot mm -hmm. that fish name. Mm -hmm. And then I bought it at 100 shop. One dollar. Yeah, shop. One, yeah like a one dollar shop. Mm -hmm. This is sakura shape. And then, yeah. Put the rice here and then place and then mm -hmm. finish. Okay. Easy, right? Mm -hmm. So first, please try to make aojiso furikake rice. Mm -hmm. So I just mix it? Yeah, mix it. Okay. Like this. And mix it. Mm. Mm. 
I'm not sure, but I just a little bit. Just to cover? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to cover. So a weekend close car. Mm -hmm. You're so far done it. Okay. No no, but you can stay close and how far are you staying? Should I put more right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, that job. Good, good. I'm gonna press it. This is a miso stainer. If you guys don't have a miso stainer, put the miso into a small bowl like this and then add a little hot water and then mix it. Mix it. Mix it and then pull it. Mm. Okay, now it's boiling, so I'm gonna put another ingredient. I'm 
coconut and the tofu tofu is easy to break so please be careful and then neki long neki and after ingredients cook please stop the heat please add miso after boiling please don't boil miso because it loses good flavors fragrances and then good bacteria and the enzyme Yeah, this one hard to use it. Remember, you can use any vegetables you like. This miso soup has many ingredients. I hope you like it. And uh, if you decorate like this, it's cute. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching.